Hello everyone, welcome to the Kellogg Garden YouTube channel. I'm Bridget and today I'm going to do a check-in on some of my plants. I did some videos recently about plant attacks, what's wrong with my plant, uh, I used row cover and then I also used some other methods uh, for the plants. So let's check in and see how they're doing. So now this one was, I had some peas in it. I also had some lettuce and something came by, probably a squirrel since we have about a million gazillion jillion of them, came by and really went to town on this plant. So let's see how it's doing. I've already seen it, honestly. I had to do a little, uh, little watering this morning, but also a little bit of fertilizing. All right. So, everything has come back nicely. Of course, my lettuce has bolted a little bit. So I'm gonna end up pulling that. I don't have any critters eating my plants, but it does look like I might have a few little soft body pests that are affecting <laughs> my peas. If I could get them to let go of the row cover. I could get them off that row cover but they are looking pretty good they, they're going a little a little unruly and one of my pea plants does look like it needs a little bit of love it's coming out but it does need some some TLC all of my strawberry plants look really good um, I even have a little strawberry growing on a couple of them. I have a couple of strawberries growing. So even being covered somehow, uh, I still have some pollination happening in there, but so far so good. I'm going to show you a couple of other plants, <laughs> a couple of other, um, row covers that maybe I left too long or didn't pay attention to. So some things did really well and some things still got hit. So let's go look at a few more plants. Here's a close up look at that container. Got some little strawberries forming. You can see that the lettuce came back, but it definitely is bolting now. And there are some peas. My peas are growing. And you can see down here, that's when it was first attacked, but up towards the top, it's looking pretty good, pretty good. Now another plant we didn't really talk about, but Right here, this is some kale that I have, and it really got hit hard by some aphids. Um, there's still a few. Let's come around. Actually, this plant right here has some aphids on it. You can see those little buggers. And this one is going to flower, so I'm not as aggressive about these aphids. Now this one, I, I kind of let it trap some aphids, but then I decided to use some neem oil so on it. And it actually, what you're seeing right now is a lot of dead aphid bodies. <laughs> there aren't many new ones in this plant, so I just need to rinse it off. It's looking pretty healthy, but the aphids uh, are under control there. So here is one of the cucumber plants we looked at last time and I had some white spotting and what I thought was probably leaf miner damage. And I got it under control. I used neem oil on this one as well. And I had some really beautiful green leaves that grew <laughs> on the top. And then something came by and ate all my beautiful leaves. That's something I believe was a squirrel. So I caught two of them and we have a, like I said, a, a bazillion kajillion here. So I'm gonna have to protect them. And this is a little white, white miniature cucumber plant and it hit this one as well. Just took all my leaves off. It didn't go after my little, um, sugar baby watermelons, but it absolutely went after this guy. You'll have to excuse my nails. I've been digging in the soil. 
My tomato plant's looking super good. Look at this. I got a little, this is a Kellogg's tomato, and I've got a little one going right there. It's getting out of control. I love it. I've got my first little sunflower there. It's looking great. Some other tomato plants. Now, sometimes what I'll do, and I'm in the middle of doing some things, but this guy here, which is a kakuzi or kakuza, however they like to pronounce that, I protected it a bit with some chicken wire because my squirrels are getting bold. Now this works with squirrels, it does not work with field mice. Field mice can get through that no problem. So I'm not sure they like this plant because I do have another one that I haven't covered yet and they haven't touched it yet. So we'll see what we need to do here. The final thing we're going to look at is we're going to look at a row cover I did over here. Now this one really got, you see that right there? That is squirrel damage. Those squirrels just went to town on this one. Absolutely crazy. They really went after, if you look closely, they went after, so these are some beets that I had under here. They went after some of my beets. Let's see if I can get you in there. And then got in here in the middle and went after some of these. <laughs> Last time, part of the reason I covered this is my Sorel was uh, really eaten up. Again, down to the nub, now it's back. Most of my beets are doing pretty good, but I'm going to have to get a bit craftier and I'm going to end up maybe caging this a bit more. So we're gonna build some, some little cages for this. But when those squirrels want something, they will get it. Okay, so there's a garden update for you guys. We looked at some of the damage that I showed you earlier, which was some of the soft-bodied pests, and then also an attack, which could have been a squirrel, it could have been grasshoppers, it could have been a, a bunny rabbit, it could have been mice, it could have been anything. So a couple of the things that I did to mitigate the damage, I used neem oil, I used row cover, um, I could have used dimatious earth, I could have used, I could have brought in some of my good bugs, like my lace wings or uh, lady beetles, uh, but I didn't have enough, I thought, for the for the ladybugs right now or for those guys. So I still may have to bring them in later because, of course, I showed you one plant that has some fresh aphids on them. So as that as more and more grows, I might need to bring them in. And then the row cover does work really well. <laughs> Not against squirrels, though. Not if they're super hungry. Uh, and I would say not against... Um, field mice, maybe bunnies, but I caught the squirrels. I mean, I caught them red-handed, so I know it's squirrels right now. So one of the things we're going to be working on next so um, is we're going to be building um, some, some caging, some boxes, and I'm excited. I've already gotten what I need for Evan to help me do that. We started with one, but I'm, I had him use this chicken wire but for the field mice, they can get through it. So I think I want to go with something that is uh, more of like your, you know, your wire mesh or um, maybe even screen. I haven't decided on that, but field mice get through holes this size. And we do have some field mice here. So I need to think about that as we're building it. But the great thing about this is going to be that I got some... Um, I got some hinges that are slip rod hinges so I can um, just slip them up and down and I'm going to be able to build these boxes almost modular so I'm really excited <laughs> about that and I think that'll help me a lot this season especially because our ground squirrels are crafty and as this garden really starts, starts going they will start it's like a buffet okay they just come in and they just start picking we even had a fat one last year that would just take bites of things it was ridiculous you could eat the whole thing guy you don't have to just take a bite 
Now, I do expect that I'm going to share part of my garden with the natural world around me. I just want to share only a little bit and then keep more for us. So that's what we're going to be doing. Next, we're going to be building some of these. Um, so if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss any great content. And if you like the video, if you could tap that like button, we'd appreciate that too. All right. I thank you so much guys for joining me again. Uh, I look forward to doing another video. If you have any questions or comments, please go ahead and leave them uh, in the comment section below and I'll talk to you soon. Happy gardening.